Now please give a warm New York City Shea Stadium welcome to the one, the only martial arts superstar, Paul Mormano. Deja vu all over again on West 57th Street today. The nostalgic occasion was the 25th anniversary of the chain of hard rock cafes. The Stacey Santos Miles was there. <laughs> 1971, and where were you? It was the year after I graduated from high school and it was, went to my first Grateful Dead concert. I guess how innocent things were back then and uh, remembering the old rockers. Rolling back the years and the prices at the Hard Rock Cafe this afternoon, not just here in New York, but at all the 58 restaurants around the world, all the way back to, that's right, the year Hard Rock first opened its doors in London. It was two expatriate Americans who wanted some good fries, a burger, and a shake. Little did they know what an institution this place would become. <laughs> A martial arts expert was outside the New York Cafe on hand to make sure each of the 25 years being celebrated got a special kind of send-off. Flat Ross just ahead, a karate kicker tries to set a world record for breaking boards. Eddie smashed for 60 boards in 60 seconds. The answer next on UPN 9 News. And finally tonight, records are made to be broken. And so are boards if you're a karate master. Ah! 
Martial artist Paul Mormondo was looking to hit a new world's record, breaking 60 boards in 60 seconds. Paul was on the move at Chase Stadium before the Mets game tonight. He relied on his hands and elbows, and Paul shattered the record. 60 boards in just 29 seconds, which you might call a smashing success. And his arm is still in working order.